I'm Sarah Borks and Keto here in Dallas for NARIT's REIT World 2017. I'm joined today by Javier Jaca, COO of Fibra Monterey. Welcome, Javier. Thank you very much for having me here. And as you meet with investors here at REIT World, what are some of the main aspects of the company that you like to convey to them? You, you could put it in one short sentence, uh, and which is that Fibra Monterrey is uh, pretty much a US REIT with a Mexican zip code. When we designed the company uh, some five years ago before launching, we wanted to have uh, corporate governance of uh, uh, world class. So we even reached out to some of the uh, advising companies in the US to help us uh, the designing of a truly uh, US read type of company in Mexico with obviously some uh, legislation differences that there are between the two countries. But pretty much we wanted to copy the, the, the model of the US read and trying to speed up on the learning curve that you guys had in the U.S. Uh, in the 80s and 90s and fast forward to what's been the, the, the industry in the U.S. for the last probably 10 to 20 years. And you decided to internalize management. What impact has that had both on your company and the industry in Mexico? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you something. We didn't internalize the company. We were born as an, as an internal company. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we were the first internally managed and advised REIT in, in Mexico. We were, if I'm not mistaken, we were the ninth uh, REIT to be uh, um, publicly traded in, in Mexico. And from the very beginning, we decided to go with the internally managed structure. And, and this is simple. We, we believe that uh, there are some economies of scale and there are, there's a lot better alignment of, alignment of interests from the uh, management team if you are internal that uh, if you're external uh, so what we did was to create uh, an advisory group embedded in the trust so my partners and I became uh, employees of a public company just like any other public company you, you might think of and we work on a budget basis there's a, a, a bonus for the uh, management team and the key executives that is paid in the form of uh, stock with certain uh, vesting periods and, and local periods, but there are no fees. So we strongly believe that in that way you keep perfectly aligned all the interests between the investors, the shareholders, the management and the market in general. And your portfolio is concentrated on the state of Monterey. What are the best opportunities that you see there and would you consider expanding? Well, we, we have already expanded. We are uh, in the city of Monterey. Uh, probably 50-55% of our income comes from properties uh, within the state of Nuevo León, in the city of Monterey particularly. But we have properties uh, all across nine other states in Mexico and 13 markets. Um, when we were born, uh, our mandate was, one of our mandates was to diversify both geographically and in asset class. We are focused only to office and industrial. We have, we might have a small portion of, of retail, mainly amenities of our office buildings, but we're mainly an office and industrial uh, um, um, REIT. And, and something that is important for us as we grow the company uh, is that we have three major uh, strategic issues for the company and we believe that those are to have a good dividend to grow a, uh, with accretive investments to the to the cash flow and uh, to have enough liquidity we are doing very good in terms of the accretive uh, investments and the dividend we're, high, we're one of the highest dividends in the market in Mexico and we're building up size uh, in order to achieve the liquidity that we want to, to, to have. And for that, we are focusing on some 17 major uh, markets in, uh, across the country. Uh, we have very clear investment guidelines. And most important of, of all, as, as I mentioned before, is to, to make all the new investments and acquisitions accretive to the, uh, to the cash flow. Eventually, we're a joint company. We, are, uh, we were um, uh, publicly uh, launched in December of 2014, so we're still ahead of, uh, of our time in terms of dispositions, but ev eventually we're going to start doing some dispositions on, on properties that have gained added value since we uh, acquired those and try to keep and capitalize all that organic growth in the benefit of the dividend for, the, for our shareholders. 
great. Well, thank you very much, Javier. You're very welcome, sir. Thank you for having me. And for more news and information about REIT World 2017, be sure to visit REIT.com.